Hello guys and welcome to this new video at Patrick Lush. Today we have the Mercedes GLE and this one is the latest in the long line of luxury SUVs from Mercedes. It started in 1998 with the M-Class and at 2015 the GLE badge took over. Now we have the new generation with a lot of changes. So let's get started with the exterior. So this one in particular is the GLE 450. It has the AMG exterior and interior package. So let's get started off with the front of this vehicle where you can see these multi-beam LED headlights as a standard. Some very aggressive bumpers with very large air intakes. Now here in the middle it has a diamond grille. This one line in the middle indicates that it's the AMG package. And of course with the AMG package comes some very aggressive looking bumpers. It has a ton of sensors all around the vehicle and of course a 360 degrees camera system which really help you navigate this car and makes it a lot easier to drive in more narrow spaces. So before we will take a look at the side I want to show you guys the engine. So let's take a look underneath the bonnet. Because this engine has something special. It is a new 3 liter inline 6 cylinder engine producing about 367 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. But what makes it so special is that it has a 48 volt battery with an additional 22 horsepower but which also adds 250 newton meters of torque above the car's engine. It's got the built in 48 volt electric systems. They don't replace the traditional 12 volt systems that run the power like windows, displays and lightning, but augment the car with a range of extra abilities. One of these new powers is an electric EQ boost, which throws in an extra 22 horsepower and more importantly, an extra 250 newton meters of torque on top of the combustion engine's output but only for short bursts and aside from that this powerful new electrical system also runs the GLE's very cool hydro pneumatic active suspension and this hydro pneumatic active suspension is able to take active control of not only the damping at each wheel but the spring tension as well and as the car's camera scan the road ahead, the suspension's curve inclination feature leans the car into corners, much like a motorcycle counteracting body roll, making life a lot more comfortable in the cabin. So with all this new information, let's take a look at the side of the car and see all the new changes made there, because this car is actually a lot bigger than the predecessor. So let's close it up. And let's go. So for starters, let's take a look at these wheels. They are the same size in the back as in the front. The size is 275, 50, 20 inch. And these are the new AMG rims. As you can see, they are made in a star shape, multi-spoke with a black surrounding. Furthermore, with the AMG package, you have some AMG details here and there. For example, you have these side skirts. You can also opt out for the for some steps on the side as well. It has some fairly large wheel arches, which are kind of wider than the car itself. Now, if we look at the car as a whole, it's actually a lot bigger than the predecessor. It's about 10 centimeters longer. And from the interior, you will really feel this difference. So now let's take a look at the back and after that the boot space. What I personally like from the back is that it goes from a slimmer top to a wider bottom here from the tail lights beneath. Now the tail lights itself it has a very pointy edge on this side from the side of the car 
and it goes around the exterior all the way to the back again in a pointy end and of course since this is the GLE 450 you have the GLE 450 badge on the left side and on the right side the 4Medic badge beneath you can see two exhaust pipes well like we are used to these are actually fake exhaust pipes but they do look very good the real exhaust pipes are underneath pointed towards the ground and from this angle you would pretty much think that you would see a camera but the camera is actually inside and when it activates it actually bumps out so now it's time for the boot space it's completely electric you can either open it with the button or of course with the key as we can see it has a fairly large boot space and it can actually increase by a ton if you simply fold the seats forward now this is the first time that the GLE class has a seven seater uh, this one doesn't have the option for seven seats but of course it's available you can pull this level up to actually view a ton more of space it has room for a spare tire but if you don't have it you actually have a ton of more space it actually has a button here on the side and if you pull it down it will actually lower the rear as you can see here it's lowering it it's still lowering it and now it's finished and this actually works with the 48 volt battery this is extremely helpful for example when you are carrying some heavy boxes and you are bendy enough to operate the button with your feet so now let's close the trunk by simply pushing this button it works like magic and we will take a look at the very luxurious interior so follow me so welcome in the new GLE first of all it has two screens here in the middle they are both 12.3 inches and they are connected here in the middle which kind of stretches it out it makes it look like one gigantic screen so let's first of all press this button to make all the electronics in the car work and we can actually have a look at the screen itself but let's take a look at the materials around us first because it does feel very luxurious but let's see if the materials are also quality made most of the materials feel suitably expensive and there's a lot of soft plastic here on the dashboard the interior is very high-end so now let's take a look at the key first it looks pretty much like the latest keys of Mercedes how can I help you nothing can you say that again please no Okay, uh, so this is the key for this car brand and the reason I'm not actually saying the name is because as soon as I say this is the Mercedes key it will, say that again, please? it will start talking to me because this is the new Mercedes MBUX system but we will get into that later so first of all this key it feels a lot lighter in my hand than the other keys that I'm used to but it does have some quality materials a nice Mercedes star in the middle lock unlock and a trunk button so let's put this here in the storage compartment and it actually has two cup holders and a phone charger so like I said before it also has the interior AMG package which comes for example with this AMG steering wheel it's of course the new steering wheel it has a flat button some very nice luxurious materials here in the middle it's a beautiful steering wheel with buttons here 
to swipe and operate this screen in front of you. Pretty much the left side is to control the left screen. Of course you have your cruise control settings over here. A nice paddle shifter behind. Wind wipers and buttons for that. And on the right side you can control the infotainment system over here. Of course volume controls, voice command and phone decline and picking up the phone. Has a beautiful interior. Here we have the button for the dynamic select to, if we start the engine, you can see that you can change between sport, comfort, eco, and of course individual, where you can set it up the way you want it to be. So let's turn it off again. You can control this infotainment system either by touchscreen, it works pretty much like your phone. Or with this hardware controller over here which actually feels great there's this little soft pad over here to rest your hand palm upon and once you scroll it actually vibrates a little bit which makes it feel a lot nicer also a little bit of a few shortcut buttons home uh, next or previous song and back over here you have the parking button so pretty much when you press this when driving it will search around for parking spaces vehicle button which brings you to the vehicle settings and quick access buttons favorite button navigation and map radio and your phone and of course the sound which we will leave on for now for copyright reasons some extra space over here with a USB-C slot right there to quickly charge your phone and of course some extra storage space over there with a cup holder now on top here you have the panoramic roof which you can see better from the back but it's pretty much the entire roof so it's a huge panoramic roof and this button opens or closes it. And over here your lights and your SOS button with the Mercedes B Me. And there's plenty of features including a DAP radio, Bluetooth and SAT navigation. Plus a Siri style Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Change the ambient lighting to blue. Okay, I'm changing the color. And as you can see it works and it changes everything in blue but of course it looks a lot better in the night this is very handy and it works a lot better than in most of the competitors okay guys so that was it for the interior at the front now let's go and take a look at the back seat to see how much space we have there and i'm feeling very lucky about this because i have a feeling it will be a lot better than in the predecessor so let's go so let's open up the door a nice huge door Burmeister surround sound system so guys we are sitting in the back right now and first of all, look at this space here in front of me. It's about 30, no not 30, about 20 centimeters. And on top of my head about the same space, 20 centimeters. And here where the panoramic roof starts, it's about 30 centimeters. Okay, maybe 20. So we have a ton of space. Now let's take a look here at this beautiful 
panoramic roof above because it's seriously huge down here we have some climate control options and a USB-C charger and here is some space for your phone which is of course different than for example an ashtray so lastly before we end this video I want to show you something awesome if you want to tow something and you need a tow bar simply press pull this button over here and a tow bar simply comes out how awesome is that okay now let's close it up first as you see it could take some time for it to work but it does and that was the video for today I will be touring around this beautiful scenery a little bit more I hope you guys liked the review I sure did and I hope to see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe and bye bye